What's up? It's Joe with OC Detailing, and Alex is holding the camera this time while he's watching porn. Let's see what's going on in the shop today. I'll start outside because there's a very, very unique car outside. Anybody that's in the uh, JDM community or really into, uh, you know, import tuning knows exactly what this is. This is the the holy grail of Honda S2000s, the CR. Uh, there were only a few of these made and even less of the few made produced in this color. Uh, I wish I knew enough about this car to talk about it, <laughs> other than the fact that it has a big wing that signifies it's a little more racy than the normal version. And the customer was telling me that it was amazing. And then some of my guys here who are really into these type of cars seem to all be ooing and aahing over this thing. Uh, it's here to get some paint protection film. Uh, so it should be fun. should be fun. A black model Y? <laughs> it's been a long week. I normally do these on Wednesday because I have more energy. Thursday I'm starting to tail off my week so I'm a little out of it. But uh, we have a black model Y we're going to do a full stealth wrap on. Then we have a Volkswagen Golf R. It's going to get a full Aztec Dino Shield wrap. Uh, we have this blue RS Q8 over here. Um, that's always here. E92 M3. This is pretty cool. The car and that Golf R actually belong to the same person. They brought them both in for us to do full wraps on. So, excited about that. Two full wraps on their on their cars. It'll be fun. Wait, can you say that again? Hey, what is it? I must have put a dick vinyl underneath my PP up in front of the Okay, true story. What Alex just said, in case he mumbled it too quietly, was one of the guys here, we're going to redo the PPF on Alex's bumper because it's got some uh, chips and stuff in it. So, on the bumper of his Tesla, and uh, Hugo, the PPF installer who lives in the attic upstairs and we never let go home, said that he would like to put a, um, a male body part underneath the PPF so it's permanently stuck there. Now, here's why if I was Alex, I would be concerned that they actually might do that. So my old car, I'm not even joking, for years I was finding, here, let's look at it. Let's look at Hugo while I tell this story. For years, and I mean years down to the day I got rid of the car, I was finding uh, male body part shaped stickers out of clear PPF everywhere. They were, there was like, they were like hidden in not so obvious places. And remember, PPF is clear, but there was one on my passenger mirror. I don't know how long it took me to notice that one. They were on the driver's side, they were on my instrument cluster. Hugo, did you think that was funny to do that? I didn't do that. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so Hugo didn't do it, but he did think it was funny. <laughs> I don't believe him. <laughs> I think it was him. Frank and Porsche over here is in uh, for a massive restoration job. And this is actually, uh, uh, I love Porsches and I love seeing cars like this. So somebody took a 993 air-cooled Porsche and did a transplant on it. So this is basically 996 GT3 everything but in a 993 body so it's pretty cool you could actually any of my uh porsche fanatics would recognize the gear shift and the e-brake out of a 996 gt3 and the seat and the brakes and it's a porsche so you can see hugo's over here doing some ppf on it not in the shape of male body parts on a customer's car i hope We gotta leave the signature. Hmm. We have no AC because it's broken and dumping water right here, which shorted out one of our IR lamps and uh, made the shop very, very hot. But the guys are still working away, so we've got a uh, long range Model S, which uniquely enough looks exactly like a plaid minus the spoiler. What's up with that, Tesla? Like. Normally, if you have a high performance version of a car, it should look different. So when I saw the first Plaid and it had these 295 tires on the rear and they were Pilot Super Sports and it had this uh, really aggressive stance, I was for sure that would be just for the Plaid, but the long range that we have here looks identical. I don't know if it was optioned that way or if it was, um, or if you have an option for different wheels and such on it, but, uh, or Tesla just doesn't have any other parts for their long ranges right now. And they're just sharing plaid parts but really strange normally the more aggressive version would look more aggressive yet this long range has the same gloss black calipers wheels and everything else that makes you think it's a plaid 
The only way I knew this wasn't a plaid, I just thought it didn't have a spoiler on, was the customer told me. So it's a long range. You can literally see. There's Jaren cleaning some wheels. It's got the same big brake calipers that a plaid has. Same Pilot Super Sport ZR rated tires. Oh, you know what? Let's go check out the other side of the shop. But first, let's see how Alex's garden's doing. Alex's garden is doing phenomenal. Alex is dedicated to this garden too. Oh look, a feral cat back here. Huh, it's hiding in the bushes. It thinks I don't see it. So it's trying to creep away sneakily. It's pretty funny actually. We have Drew who's filing. He's doing some filing right now. He's filing some filing edges. So the reason he's doing that is because when you do window tint, if you pre-cut it, it goes like really close to the edge and you get a light gap all the way around versus doing it the way he's doing it, where you can take the film all the way to the edge for a really clean install, like so. And then Chris is over here doing some PPF on a white Model 3. Uh, this car also got some 3M crystalline window tint. Chris has his headphones on, I'm sure listening to some stock market stuff, or maybe something about meme stocks or why Robinhood's IPO sucked. <laughs> I'm gonna take a guess, it's because we don't trust you, Robinhood. I don't believe you're stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. You're stealing from the poor and giving to yourself. That's why your IPO sucked. Other than all the other cars we have going on, I just showed you Frank and Porsche, and what may seem like a very short blip in time because you're watching a vlog right now, actually was about an hour and a half, and Frank and Porsche is outside. So let's go take a look at it. We fully corrected the paint on this. We uh, well, first we removed a bunch of really poorly installed PPF from some very old PPF on this car. We took it off, uh, then we corrected the paint. After correcting the paint, uh, we put new PPF on. So uh, I want to show off our install here because the guy's just finished up with it. You saw him doing it a second ago. But uh, can you tell it's trapped? I don't think so. Nope, nope. So before the PPF actually only went to about here. It had a big line right there. Uh, it went halfway across the hood. As you can see now, it's all, looks like it should. Very happy with the way this came out. It's such a cool car. It's like when you hear it start, it's got that uh, GT3 growl because it's got a, it's a heavily modified motor and basically a, a newer generation Porsche in this older body. So I thought that was pretty neat. I figured I'd show that to you since I was getting pulled out when I was walking back to the office. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Joseph with OC Detailing. Please subscribe for more videos.